Marie's Galair. Roger Ashkari, Saw Kazawaki, Misha Kazawaki. Um, okay, a couple of things today we're trying out. We're going to try out the um, Stigic Sat Nav. It seems to have been working fairly well recently. Check out is the uh, riser app recommended by Lucky Luke, um, which is a kind of a tracking app which allows you to track your your journeys and possibly share them. Which is kind of something I'd like to start doing with the the channel is that all these trips that I'm taking and spins that I'm going on. That uh, I'd be able to share those routes with people, so that if you know, if you like, if you like the scenery, you know, if you like the uh, the road surface, the the trip basically that you saw last week, for example. Um, I might wait till I get out onto a straight stretch of road here for this. So basically the, uh, the the riser app should be tracking me now from... I started at the petrol station back there. The riser app should be ch tracking my progress now. Um, the other thing I'm checking is I'm running a spot walla, which is another kind of a GPS tracker um, with a bubbler light, which is uh, updating constantly so it allows you to share your um, your journey, you know, in real time with people. So, for example, somebody can click on the link that I sent them, and they can see that I'm now outside the centre. Hang on, now, did she, did she tell me to turn right? I bet you she did. Really need to start listening to this sat nav instructions. Um. Yeah, so what have we got running today? We have the Bubbler Light and Spotwalla running in unison. We have the Riser app running as a GPS tracker. The other thing we have is the microphone. I got a dead cat thing for um, trying to reduce some of the, the wind noise on the, the audio. Um, so anyway, today's mission. Uh, we're again we're back on the IBA um, bridge too far photo rally ah uh, here right she should be telling me shortly now to continue straight then I'd be able to talk to you. What? Round about. I assume she needs me to go over the bridge first. See what she's talking about.
I'll just go straight on up here. So she was, she was talking about the, uh, the roundabout over the bridge. Update and other things that have been happening in the, the recent past. Um, bikes had a bit of misfortune. Um, I was moving around in the yard at home and I found the one and only screw in the whole place and managed to stick it in the back wheel while moving it around. Um, so I had a flat wheel and a essentially brand new tyre, which kind of pissed me off, now, to be honest. Uh, but what pissed me off more was this. The last time I tried the IBA saddle sore, um, which is a thousand miles in under 24 hours, uh, I got to 999 miles, 998 miles, something like that, and I got a flat wheel down in Wexford at one o'clock in the morning. So I actually didn't manage to complete the task that day. Um, but when I got back and got new tyre put on, I got the guys to put in this slime stuff, this, this, this kind of a goopy, gunky kind of stuff that you put into your tires and it rolls around the inside of the tire and it coats the inside of the tire and the idea is that as soon as you hit a nail or something that might give you a puncture the, um, the slime is supposed to come pissing out through the hole and seal it and go hard and, and, and seal the, the hole before you lose too much air pressure. Um, so it's essentially it's kind of a an emergency limp home kind of a job. But that didn't work with mine because the wheel wasn't moving. You know, because I pushed it around the yard and parked it. The screw was in at the top of the tie, of the tube top of the wheel so there's no slime around it. Now it's just a slow puncture. I managed to pump it up a little bit to drive it down to the guys to get it fixed. But the first thing they did was spin the wheel, pull out the screw and um, and see if it'd seal it. Now it, to be fair it did eventually seal it uh, a, a decent amount decent level like you know it, it there was still a very very slow puncture but you could still hear the air escaping from the tube but it took a while to seal it now maybe if that was actually happened on the road maybe it would have worked a bit better maybe the tire might have been warmer or something I don't know but yeah I think I wouldn't be I wouldn't be relying on this thing now my previous advice I've gotten is that you will never ever get a punch out of this stuff. You hit anything, no matter what you hit, once you pull it out, tire seals again and end off, no problems. That wasn't really the case in this, it wouldn't inspire me with confidence. Now, it would probably work to the point where it would get you out of trouble and get you to the next garage. Um, but, I don't know. The other thing that happened to me was, 
That's um, the heated grips. If you notice down here, I've had to cut the heated grip. These grips were on it when I, on the bike when I bought it. And they never work. As long as I've had the bike, they never work. Now I just I took off the panel, the control panel, and fucked it away, and I never just bothered with the, the grips. When I was uh, out the other day, I noticed last while that that uh, when you wind the throttle, the sleeve here is actually twisting. The grip is twisting on the, the inner sleeve. what had happened was these were never working and um, what I'd noticed is over time the adhesive had, um, had degraded and the, um, the grip was twisting on the inner sleeve which meant that this thing was moving around now this still had a cable attached to it uh, running down there which was kind of tied up out of the way by the previous owner uh, the problem was that as I was twisting, you know, I'd, I'd wind to accelerate and you'd get nothing. So I'd wind again and then you'd, you'd pick up something. What was actually happening was I was twisting the grip around on the sleeve all the time. It was not a big deal. Except that when I was winding off the throttle, what I was doing was I was pulling the, the lead up out a little further every time. And also I wasn't getting the throttle responsiveness that I would be expecting. Which you might think is not a big deal, but it's a very big deal when you go to pull out from a, a junction or pull away at a at a roundabout and you realise that you know there's no there's no jerk, there's no jump out of the bike. Um, that's less than ideal. So when I picked up the bike after getting the puncture fixed, um, it was horrendous. I couldn't get any traction on the, the throttle at all. Um, so much so that I had to actually rely on on having the, tra the, the choke fully open in order to keep the bike from cutting out. Now I decided when I came home I'd, I'd investigate this and I thought that maybe there was something that this cable that was running down here was fouling the um, the throttle cable in some way or other. So I um, I was messing around with this, twisting and turning this to see was it affecting the throttle set. And what I know what actually happened, and I was very fortunate it didn't happen when I was out in the road was the sleeve had actually twisted all the way around so that this part was not sticking up here but had wound all the way around underneath the throttle and was pulling the cable basically it was facing the other way essentially it was facing down and it had brought this loop of the cable like that okay and as I was accelerating and winding the throttle the loop was kind of coming up here kind of like that and can you guess what it, can, I don't know if you can see that but can you guess what it eventually did that's right it hit the kill switch now I was in the yard at home messing around with this at the time so I was very lucky but it could just as easily have happened out in the road where I would wind it like that And the lead would have come up and actually hit the kill switch and you know what happens when you hit the kill switch when the bike is moving in gear no more kazawaki so i cut the cable off anyway to prevent that from happening and took off the bar end weights and pulled off the sleeve and uh, put on the put on a bit of super glue keep it going for the time being. Uh, I might consider putting heated grips back on it again. I don't know if I'd actually bother. What the fucking thing is it? That's obviously not put on properly. Uh, okay. uh, thank you very much.
very much, Mr. Volkswagen.